Now, today we are talking about uh, the power of seduction, right? Now, first yeah. of all, Dr. Mabilema Tebula, <laughs> uh, it is going to be a very interesting topic for some of the people that are here, mm-hmm. right? Uh, because they are, they are very excited about the topic, they cannot wait. But first, <laughs> let's, uh, let's, 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 let's define the term, uh, even to also talk about where it was actually derived from Dr. Matewula. I had uh, you. I had to. I had you guest there talking about, you know, something in Latin, mm. and I think I, I was very excited to hear that. Mm. Uh, the term seduction derives from um, from the Latin language, mm. which means to to lead astray mm. or to mislead. Mm. I gave an example of Bathsheba <laughs> in the Bible in the Old Testament. Yes. She seduced King David. Mm. You know, when, when Israel was oh, yes. at war, mm. you know, mm. David was sitting upstairs, mm. and then from there he saw a woman having a bath. Mm. She was naked, mm. and then he was seduced. Apparently, that woman knew exactly the position of the king, mm. and then she did everything to seduce him, mm. and the king was eventually seduced. Mm. She led him astray. Wow, <laughs> she led him astray. Yeah. He so, so, will we say? Can we say, then say that uh, a seducer then knows uh, uh, the the person's weakness, Doctor Mabilamati? Absolutely. You you can't seduce a person if you don't understand the core of that person. Mm. If you don't mm. understand the weaknesses of that person. For example, mm. men have their insatiable desire for sex and power. Mm. You know, they want sex and they want power. Mm. It's for this Sexual. reason we are, we are experiencing a lot of political killings mm. because people want positions. Yeah. It's for this reason in the corporate environment you have got people who are destroying other people's careers mm. because they want to be in power. Mm. And as a juicer, we'll actually know that as a man, mm. You have got that desire for sex. That's why if you see sex workers, you know, the, the way they dress code, mm. you know, you realize that you know, it's so seductive. Mm. You know, that they know that they know exactly that men love sex. Mm. Or maybe they've got a desire for mm. sex. Mm. Now the way they dress, mm. it means that that it's just an invitation. Mm. So what are the desires now of uh, a woman, Dr. Mabilamatari? Yes. Let's yeah, see. on the other side of the coin, mm. you know, women also have got desires. Mm. And then uh, they've got that, you know, insatiable desire for beauty and money. Mm. Regardless of where a woman is, mm. she always wants to be beautiful. Mm. Mm. So is there any example for this, Dr. Mabilamatari? Uh, about these women? Yes, uh, yeah, about what you just say now, that uh, uh, they've got the insatiable desire for beauty and money. Yeah, they've got, yeah, well, there are so many exa- examples, mm. you know, of, of, of women who have actually seduced men, mm. you know, for the sake of, of money. Mm. Um, and, and then I think it's understandable because beauty has to be maintained. Mm. You know, for example, a, a, a woman spends more money on beauty than, than a man. Mm. It's for this reason, when you have got a woman, mm. you know, a vision, you must give your woman some money mm. so oh, that she can gosh. maintain the beauty. Did you hear that? Mm. Now, yeah. Mm. Okay, Dr. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm saying, you know, because women spend a lot of money mm. on beauty. Mm. You know, for example, if maybe you decide to go on a wed, you know, on a wedding with a woman, mm. where well, understand, you are going to spend less. You know, mm-hmm. she's going for her hair, you know, her hair, her makeup, her shoes. Her, you know, there are so many things, you know, mm-hmm. involved. And as a man, you need to maintain that beauty. Mm-hmm. Don't actually say, oh, I need like Imal. No. Mm-hmm. You know, when you give her money, mm-hmm. you are trying, you are saying to her, dear, maintain your beauty. Mm-hmm. So when you are in... <laughs> I like that. So, Dr. Mabilavati, so when you are in love with a woman, what is it that she thinks? Uh, when you are in love with a woman, what what, what is it that she thinks? Yes. Uh, well, I think a person in love is always emotional, pliable, mm. 
and easily misled. Now, mm. in other words, when you are in love, that's why they say you are madly in love. Mm. You know, mm. you know, being madly in love, it means that you know, love at times it's a um, it's a mental condition, it's a mental illness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Uh, doctor, doctor Mabila Matebula, you are on mute now. Uh, uh, can you unmute? Uh, we we. We uh, actually missed you. Um, yeah, now there, there you are. Uh, you are unmuted now. Okay. Okay. I was saying. I was sorry for that. I don't know what happened. I was saying that when you know a person in love is emotional, pliable, mm -hmm. and and can easily be misled. That's why they say that one is madly in love. It means that you don't actually reason well. There's no. There's no reasoning. Mm -hmm. You know. That's why love at times it is said that it's, it it can be a mental illness. It's a mental illness. And then once you are you are in such a stage or you are vulnerable, mm. you know, you can easily be seduced. Mm. Mm. So, Doctor Mabilema, what does um, what is it that as men we must understand uh, about beauty? <laughs> what we must understand about beauty? Yes. yes, as men. Well, beauty is not free lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Mm. Yes. It, it, it has to be maintained. Mm. For example, you meet a woman, mm. she has got a perfect figure, mm. she has got beautiful hair, she mm. has got the makeup, she mm. has got everything. Mm. Now, that has to be maintained. Mm. Ah, yeah, yeah. And, and it is exomatic, mm. you know, or women actually assume that when I'm in love with this man, mm. this man will have a responsibility to maintain my beauty. And the bad news is, if you can't maintain a beauty, other men are going to do it for you. Mm. It, it, it is a role that can easily be taken away from you. Can't maintain, they pay for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, now, uh, uh, Dr. Mabilema Tebula, and then, um, is there a way in which... Um, because this is a very interesting question from uh, you know from me because I was thinking about it and uh, the way in which uh, uh, you know you go into a moment of surrendering and um, do you surrender because you are no you know you are being seduced or um, you have been overpowered, Doctor <laughs> Uh Well. <laughs> Yeah. For example, if you are seduced, it means that you have been overpowered. Mm. And, and you have got instances whereby you can't resist mm. seduction. It's there. Mm. You, know, you, you, can't, you can't resist it. Because at times, if, you know, it's, it's like when you tell a woman that, hey, you are so beautiful, and she says to you, hi, when, hi, uh, you are flattering me. So what, what I'm saying to you is, you can't resist if flattery. It's, mm. it's part and parcel of life. Mm. Right? But if you are going to be overconscious about the flatter, mm. which are you are flattering me? If you say, hey, you are beautiful, hey, you are lovely, you are what, 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 if you flatter me. Now, in other words, you are no longer living. Mm. So, That's do, it. Doctor Mabinawa, do seducers themselves understand the, um, the, the, in fact, the tremendous power, uh, you know. Uh, that they have to make another person uh, surrender. That, that they have to make another person surrender. Absolutely, seducers so are strategists. Mm. You know, they analyze what happens when people are in love. Mm. You know, and study that, and then from there they pounce. Mm. You know, mm. so for example, you know, they they also use enchanting words. Mm. You know, mm. such as. La vie, sweetie, mm -hmm. stand, mm -hmm. honey, scatty, <laughs> to attack you. Yeah. They, they, they use the, you know, that language. It's for this reason, I think Stan knows we, we come from Limpopo. Mm. And then there was a, a situation whereby when a man would actually leave his wife mm. in the homeland and came, and, and came to Johannesburg to work. Mm. And then the man would not actually go back home anymore. Well, mm. because he met someone who seduced him, who calls him all these names, mm. Siti, Hani, Lavi, Stando, <laughs> only to find out these words, these words were never used where he came from, you know, now the, the seducers have got a way, they know exactly, you know, mm. what, what to say and what to do in order to attract you. Now, Dr. Mabilema Tebula, we've got a question, right? 
question? So a listener wants to know what is the safest way to seduce a woman without you being charged with sexual harassment? Yeah, it's, it's a good question. You know, it's a good question and I'm glad you brought it up. Yeah. And I gave an example. Mm. For example, you may actually ask a lady to offer you a glass of water. Mm. And when she brings that, that glass of water for you to imbibe, mm. to imbibe, you can say to her, hey, ngea bong, mm. I'm a I'm dood. Are you taking this I'm taste down? I'm told you see your water is sweet. Yeah, boy. Doctor, we are talking about just pause a little bit because Vision is writing notes. Eh? <laughs> 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 uh, all right, Doctor, you can only go. water. Uh, I mean, you <laughs> only want water. You are saying yeah, boy. I'm a zako. I'm told you got got a gigant legil. You know, to who can't leg? I wish to know that I was so tired. Mm. That's why the the place in Kanza mm. actually means. You know, shower, oh, a place to rest. Okay. You know, okay. now you are seducing her. You says, "Thank you very much for the water. Mm. Your, the, your wa- the water is so s- as sweet as as you are." Mm. Okay. So you can actually use that that leverage. You know, seducing. Doctor Mabilama Tebula, um, Shulani, who is also a presenter here at the radio station, um, send us a question. Shulani, there. no, 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 the, Shulani. No, uh, not not the little Shulani. Uh, oh, okay. The gentleman, um, you know, one of our um, uh, the sexiest men here at VMC Planet Radio. Mm, okay, Mr. Stein, nice description. Oh, no, I was saying nice description. He feels hurt. <laughs> <laughs> he feels hurt. No, because we're talking about we're talking about uh, seduction. Right? Yes, so I'm saying that was nice. Sticking to topic. <laughs> now nah, he feels hurt. No, he feels hurt. Very uh, hurt. I'm okay. Doctor Mabilati, no. Shula, this is what he's asking. He said, uh, "Can Doctor Mabilati will like, give us example of seduction?" <laughs> I'm not. I'm not laughing at the question. I'm just laughing at the faces around me here, yeah, Doctor Mabilati. Yeah, I, I gave an example of David, mm. a, a woman who actually knew exactly where David would be, mm. and uh, she decided to have a bath just, you know, mm. in open air. Yeah, mm. and then the man was seduced. You don't do mm. that anymore. <laughs> and, then, and he called for her mm. and then he slept with her and then he rendered her pregnant mm. ah, you see the mm. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as a chooser eh, yeah. does not care about the status that's why in, in Shangan there's a saying that says that goes Masati Angana Hosi the status mm. <laughs> Yeah, it has got nothing to do with your status. Mm. That's why more often than not, women they don't understand one thing. Mm. You know, uh, um, if for example there's a woman who's working mm. in your house mm. and she's very attractive and they like, a man does not care as to whether this woman does not have education or not. Mm. You'll be attracted to that woman. But we, but women have got that thing of saying, only mm. you know, yeah. they go for status. And mm. men, they go for beauty. You know, once they're attracted, you know, they're attracted. Uh, now, Dr. Matebula, sorry, Mr. Stan. There's another question um, mm. by Shulani again. Is it yeah. safe to seduce a colleague? <laughs> uh, we are one of us. We are one of us. Do you think Shulani has got a colleague that he wants to seduce? I definitely believe I mean, if you ask that question. It's also a, a good question. Mm. Yeah? The problem is we are human beings mm. and being human beings you know once you start putting boundaries mm. you know around you mm. you are making your situation worse mm. you know, and and people will actually love each other and and and, and whether they are called religionist in church or wherever they are people will always love each other i still remember a certain guy who met his cousin for the first time mm. and he realized that the cousin was so beautiful Mm. And he says, "Eh, who can get the one? It's over, but okay." Shoot your shot, nigga. Doctor Mapila Matebula. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll read this because it's written in Venda. Uh, I don't yeah. know how to translate. Okay, maybe I can translate. But okay, Doctor Mapila Matebula understand Venda anyway. So now, Kuta also says, uh, uh, "Doctor Mapila Matebula, now buying my okay." Let me ask it in French. Uh, do you remember that language? Do you remember that language? 
Ziri gati wa sa usedusa. <laughs> it, it depends on on the intention. Okay. <laughs> what, what, what is your intention when you buy her lunch? Mm. What is your intention? Mm. Get those tens, though. <laughs> For her to eat. Lies. <laughs> Lies vision. I care. I want oh, okay. you to get full. All right. Lies. All right. Dr. Matebula, Matebula. Now, what is it that uh, uh, Sodusa see themselves as? Yeah, they see themselves as, you know, providers of pleasure. Mm. Like these that gather pollen from some flowers mm. and deliver it to others. Mm. You know, they, they see themselves as, like, for example, a, a person who's, uh, who has got serious problems. Hey, mm. you know, my husband, this is what he's doing. He's abusing me. And they're like, you know, as a juicer, we'll actually come, you know, with a language that tries to alter the situation. Hey, but man, man, gender-based violence, man. Mm. So the president is talking about this thing, and yet your husband is doing this thing, and mm. yet that guy is an abuser. <laughs> mm. But because you, he realizes that you are vulnerable, ne? he pretends as though he's a good man. Mm. You know, he wants to give you pleasure so that you can actually feel the nature of success. Mm. Vision, it's definitely vision. <laughs> vision, definitely vision. <laughs> vision. Why is everybody? Why is everybody looking at you? How as if I'm the one who spoke. Mr. Stan, have you heard Vision's words in his raps? <laughs> <laughs> who am I saying choosing in my raps? <laughs> why is it that uh, seduction is uh, regarded as a kind of uh, theatre in real life? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like theatre because, you know, people just actually promise you, they promise you heaven and earth. Mm. That's why you see, you know, shows like Bo Mingle and Single, mm. you know? Mm. And then these people meet for the first time and this person creates a, a very good impression about himself mm, you know that mm, mm. he's a progressive person he's this is this and that and that you see and then now you realize that you know these people are just acting you mm. know it's, it's not a real life situation but mm. they, they give you that impression that you know that what you are looking for mm. You know, because you you must also understand, I said in this show that each and every man and woman has got a template. You know, mm. you know exactly what type of a man you are looking for, what type of a woman you are looking for. Mm. And then, if I know that this is what you are looking for, mm. I, I'm I'm going to make it make it a point that I I emphasize what you are looking for. Mm. Yeah. Another question just came through, Doctor Mavila Matebula. Um, they say according to the Bible, is seduction permissible according to the Bible itself? And the other one is, is seduction a sin? Yeah, well, it, it depends where you are. Like, for example, the Bible does not talk about seduction. We deduce that, you know, uh, David was seduced. You know, but, it, it, you know, throughout the Bible, they don't talk about this thing of seduction. We just deduce that he was seduced. Because that woman actually went in public and she had a bath in public, mm. you know, where she knew that strategically, strategically David would see her, mm. you know. Now, it, it, they don't talk about seduction, but with the Jews. Mm. And then in, in terms of uh, seduction, a sin or, or, or not, the Jews are amoral. They don't have morals. Mm. <laughs> mm. So if you play a seduction game, eh, it's mm. not a question of morality. It's not a question of virtue. Mm. <laughs> You know, mm. you are trying to get what you want. Mm. All right, uh, Dr. Mabila there's another one here. Um, it's okay, is seduction a game? <laughs> yes, yes, it's, it's, a, it's a game where there are winners and losers. It's a, it's a game, mm. you know, you, you either win or you lose. Mm. Now, what are uh, lessons? For women, Dr. Yeah, I think one lesson women must know one thing that a man grow a, a man grows bored with a woman, no matter how beautiful. That's he ends for different pleasures and for adventure. All a woman needs to do is to turn this around to create an illusion that she offers such a variety of adventures. Now, in other words, whether you have got a beautiful woman. A man would always want to to explore. Mm. Now, as a woman, you must actually make it a point that you give this person this variety. For example, you know, maybe a, a, a man needs a, a woman who's very wide, mm. you know. And then your woman 
She must actually also in that role of being white. Or maybe she wants, you know, he wants a woman who's going to use the dirty language. Use the dirty language because a man enjoys adventure. Now you need to understand exactly what you're dealing with. <laughs> That's why you end up seeing men, you know, being displayed in but we are Jola 99. Because he's looking for what? He's looking for adventure, he's looking for pleasure. Yeah. Um, one more question, Dr. Mabila Matsu. <laughs> Is it immoral for spouses to seduce each other? Ah, uh, it's not. This must be coming Such from Fulal. It's most definitely. <laughs> Fulal is on fire today. Is it, you say, is it immoral for, 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 for couples to seduce each other? Yes. It's like paying uh, uh, your TV license. It's the right thing to do. Do it. Exactly. <laughs> 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 boy. Do you hear the punchline? <laughs> Pay your TV license. Pay your TV license. Okay. The right thing to okay, do. Oh so, uh, boy. Okay, uh, Fulani, pay your TV license. <laughs> That's the right thing to do. Do it. <laughs> yeah, man. Do it. Uh, oh, my uh, by, by the way, uh, by the way, uh, I also understand that uh, uh, is your other father. Right? <laughs> yeah, vision, you screwed. <laughs> <laughs> are you right? Uh, yeah, station dead. Okay, vision. Why are you? Not, why are you not asking other questions that we're seeing there? <laughs> There's no other questions. It's Wait, I have a question, sir. Okay. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, doctor, tell me, with uh, yeah. the seduction in today's world, do you think the idea of seduction and how people seduce has completely changed? No, it, it, no, it, it, it has not changed because a, a seducer wants to see exactly, he knows exactly how people, you know, behave when they're in love. And then seduction is taking advantage of that situation. Now seduction has, has been there and it will be there forever and forever and forever and ever. Mm. Now, Dr. Mabilema Tebula, today, uh, you know, uh, we don't have the quotable codes. We actually have a vocabulary cabinet. Now, vision is to stand up. He is so happy. He is so happy today. So, what do we have in our vocabulary cabinet, Dr. Mabilamatu? Okay, the first word is dissolute. Mm. Say that again? Dissolute. 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 Okay. Which means living in a way that other people strongly disapprove. Mm -hmm. In other words, you are living a life and people are not happy with your life. And then we can give an example. Mm. He led a dissolute life, drinking and womanizing until his death. Drink and womanize. Yeah. Now, Dr. Mabila, what, nice, uh, okay. what is the second word? The second word is something that, you know, cradle. Mm. You know, it's a verb. To hold something or someone yes. gently, mm. especially by supporting with the arms. Oh. To hold something, mm. something or someone mm. gently, mm. especially by supporting with the arms. And we can give an example. Mm. She cradled him tenderly in her arms after... She, after we landed from the airport. Uh, we thank you so very much. The example that uh, you gave is that uh, she cradled him tenderly. You know? <laughs> it, it's, not, it's not just any cradling, right? Mm. Tender. 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 And tender. Uh, tender, tender. And, 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 and Stan, I think, I think you have to be very careful about my example. I said she cradled him tenderly in her arms after she landed from the airport. Oh, Dr. Mabilema Tebula, we say thank you so very much. Uh, it, has, it, it is always lovely to talk to you and uh, discuss uh, with you. It looks like uh, the question is still going to come, uh, Dr. Mabilema Tebula. Uh, yeah, mm. if, even next week, right, we are still going to talk about seduction, different types yes. of seduction. Yes. Okay. You know, so that you know exactly, so happy. you know, this type of seduction. We are going to talk about mm. leadership and seduction. Next week, we are going to talk leadership and seduction. How people who are in leadership are seduced. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was Dr. Mabila Matemula. And, uh, you know, with the uh, power of seduction.